Hey everyone, my name is Camilla and I'm the Vice President at Arts University Bournemouth Student Union. Some of you may already know that we're celebrating Fair Trade Fortnight for the next two weeks. And because of this, I will be pressing Fair Trade Flowers. And if you're keen to know more about... <laughs> because of Fair Trade... In this video, I'll be showing you how to press flowers, what Fair Trade Flowers are, and in the next few videos, you'll find out what to do with them once you press them. So stay tuned. How about, first of all, I tell you what Fair Trade is? So, the Fair Trade Foundation ensures standards for farmers and workers, including protection of workers' rights, and the environment. They also charge companies. They include the payment of an additional fairness premium to invest in business of community projects of the community's choice, like the Women's School of Leadership, for example. Did you know that there are nearly 70,000 flower workers working with Fairtrade to get a better deal? They grow, harvest, pack and care for the flowers. I'll be telling you more fun facts about Fairtrade flowers throughout this video as well as any other I post. So, stay tuned! Now, let's start with our flowers. Some of them may be a bit too chunky to be able to press. This includes roses, so just cut them in half with scissors or a knife. For your first technique, all you will need is some fair trade flowers, um, possibly a knife or a pair of scissors if you'd like to cut them in half. You want a book, actually you want quite a lot of books, probably some heavy ones, and a piece of paper or a few. You need to open the book, probably right in the middle, secure the sides of some paper and put your flowers in the middle of it. When you close it, press hard and put a bunch of books on top. You want to leave your flowers on the bookshelf for about two to three weeks. However, every few days, make sure you change over the pieces of paper because they might get a little bit wet. Once your flowers are fully dried, then I think you're done. Technique number two, we are going to be ironing the flowers. You basically need every single thing you needed in the first technique, but this time you also need an iron. First of all, you want to press your flower by putting it in the middle of a book, just like the first time. So put it in, flatten it down a bit. You can wait a few days, it'll probably make it easier, but this is more of like a make it quick technique, you know? Once you've pressed the flowers down a little bit, you want to take them out Put them on a piece of paper and iron them on a very very low heat you don't want to burn the paper and you don't want to burn your flower either that's that's no and you don't want to set fire to anything too it might take a few goes until you get it the way you want it to be and you might also want to put it in between a few books for a few days just to make sure it's all dry and ready to use another fair trade fun fact did you know Fair trade flowers are traceable back to the original farm. Fair trade certified farms must ensure safety and working conditions for their employees. These farms receive a premium of 10% for every stem sold, which allows workers to invest in healthcare, education, and other social benefits. Next up, we are going to microwave the flowers. What you need for this one is a microwave obviously, uh, your fair trade flowers and parchment paper. Don't mind me using paper towels, I have run out of parchment paper and it was late in the evening. But here we are, just use parchment paper. You want to put your flowers in between two sheets, put it in a microwave and put something heavy on top, something that will flatten down the flowers. You want to put the microwave on for 30 seconds at a time and check your flowers every time to see how they're doing. You can see how the paper towels went the best option and the only option I had. However, still seemed to sort of work, so I'm happy. 
probably the quickest option in pressing your flowers um, but it might take some time for them to dry off. I hope you enjoyed this video and that you found out some fun facts and a bit more about flower pressing and of course fair trade. So if you enjoyed this and want to know more about how to use your flowers after you've pressed them then watch the next few videos that are coming up. Thanks! <laughs>